Alright, what's going on guys? Luke here with another PvP build for Lost Death DLC. I'm on my Magical Templar with a powerful 1vx build. Front bar, classic, daddy strikes, which increase our damage over time abilities and chant abilities by 15%. So our spammable, puncturing sweeps, we get empowered, and some dots too. Even if the nerf puncturing sweeps and jabs, still viable in PvP. More than powerful enough to be honest. Then back bar the sustained craftable set, Wretch Vitality, Phyrexus Stamina and Magical Region, Death Leader's Feet as Smithic this time, instead of Marcoon, Bloodspawn as Monster Set, and Trainee as Filler. Since we have Vigor on our bar, which gives now minor resolve, 3k armor, we don't really need Magma Incarnate anymore. For the minor resolve buff, it would be only for minor courage, that's why I use Bloodspawn for my ulti region, resistance, and the one piece bonus with stun region, pretty nice too. I'm on one heavy, heavy chest for more resistance, one medium, the rest, so five light armor with five impen, one sturdy, and one well fitted, full prismatic glyphs like always, full infused on the jewelry with spell damage. We don't really need a region glyph. I have sometimes issues with my stamina region though, so if you prefer prismatic or even stamina region glyph, go for it. Especially for battle rounds, for example. Then two maces instead of the infernal for extra penetration and just in general with doing more damage. Non and sharp, flame and poison chant and big bar, sword and board, powered sturdy, with the escape is poisons. Skills, front bar vigor. Simply because I don't have bar space. Then Perfect Light. Punching Sweeps are spammable. Aurora Javelin as CC instead of Toppling Charge. Really powerful knockback similar to Magnum Shot. Really annoying to play against. One of the most cancer mechanics in PvP. Those knockbacks. Then Degeneration for Major Sorcery. Crash and sweep still as ultimate, back bar purse armor for minor major breach, almost 9k armor, penetration, race against time or snare removal for minor force, 10% crit damage, and 30% movement speed with major expedition. On order that, our burst heal, channeled focus, resistance buff, and sustain, extended ritual or purge, and hot, and back bar still spell war as defensive ultimate. Race I'm not. Simply because it's also my stamina temperature. Breton, high air for Dunmo should be definitely better here. Mundus, the apprentice for extra spell damage. Clockwork Cetus Filet as buff food. Potions, I use two different ones. Since we don't have major savagery in our bars, so no camouflage hunter. I use the spare crit potions. This one. If I'm really under pressure and need some stamina sustain, I just go with the tricer potions. CPs, Biting or Master Dams, Double Speed of an Ironclad, Red One Sustain by Suffering, Pain Refuge, Celebrity, and Slippery. Let's talk about the rotation really quick. Start always with Degeneration for Major Sorcery, then Pearse Armor for Minor Major Breach, followed by Purifying Light into Punching Sweeps. At around 1.2 or 2 seconds, use Crash and Sweep into Javelin followed by more puncture sweeps. By the way, you could slot the execute, the Jesus beam for the generation, if you use the spell power potions. Then you can basically use the Jesus beam after the javelin, also a powerful combination. Here we go again with some gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. Flashing lights, dance with fire in the night I'm wired Watch the time pass us by, here's this feeling lying Could you pass the lighter? Yeah, I'm trying to keep my cool Nicotine in my veins, flaming up to size What am I supposed to do? Cause it feels so good Feeling wild like a zoo, put me in a mood
In your eyes, I see myself unfalling. Make it make sense, it must be the temptation speaking. What am I supposed to do? Cause it feels so good. Feeling wild like a super. Giving me hope is the love. 